Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the entrance of your word that gives light. Speak to us again and let your will be revealed to us in the name of Jesus. Um, today, the Lord will teach us on um, a topic that says knowledge. Knowledge. And under this topic, I will be dealing with the two types of knowledge. The two types of knowledge. Now, in the in the garden, there is a particular tree that the Lord commanded Adam and Eve not to eat from. And that tree is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, there are two types of knowledge. We have the pure knowledge and the impure knowledge. So you can also call the impure knowledge the corrupt knowledge. So a pure knowledge is the knowledge of good alone. But the corrupt knowledge is the knowledge of good and evil. Are you with me? So the kind of knowledge that God wanted to expose the people in the garden too was a pure form of knowledge which is the knowledge of good now with the pure knowledge you cannot do evil you cannot be provoked to do evil the only thing you can do is good because that is all that you know so god began to keep adam and eve in the garden and gave them an instruction not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil all the trees in the garden were trees of knowledge. And every tree in the garden was representing the tree of the knowledge of good, which will help them to maintain the pure knowledge. But a time came when the devil came and tempted them to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the moment they ate from this tree, their pure knowledge became impure. So there was a corruption in their knowledge. Are you there? So they fell from pure knowledge to a corrupt knowledge. Now they now know good and evil. But originally God only wanted to expose them to pure knowledge. Now the kind of knowledge you will need to live in the Garden of Eden is a pure knowledge. Because the Garden of Eden is the Garden of God. So the moment your knowledge is corrupt and you begin to work with an impure knowledge, a corrupt knowledge, you will no longer be fit to stay in the Garden of Eden. So the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I have towards thee, the thought of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now the thought God has towards us was the thought of good and not of evil, meaning the intention of God for his children is to, is for them to have a pure knowledge and not a corrupt knowledge. I said earlier that a pure knowledge is the knowledge of good only. So a man that is operating with a pure knowledge will only know how to do good, but he will not, be, he will not know how to do evil. That was why Stephen was being stoned to death, but instead of him to abuse them, to curse them, all he said was, Father, forgive them. Why? He does not know how to do evil because the kind of knowledge he has was a pure knowledge. Jesus was being crucified on the cross, facing a lot of pain, but he did not place a curse on the people. Why? Because he only have a pure knowledge. So a man with a pure knowledge cannot do evil, no matter how you provoke them. Are you with me? So the moment Adam and Eve ate of this tree, their knowledge became corrupt. So they fell from the knowledge of good, which is pure, to a knowledge of good and evil, which is corrupt. So a man or a woman that is operating with the corrupt knowledge will do good today and do bad tomorrow. Such people will marry their wife, love them for one year, and after one year, they'll begin to maltreat them. That's the knowledge of good and evil. The knowledge of good, and, of good and evil is that knowledge that 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 makes you faithful for a while, and after some time you begin to think of rebelling. That's the knowledge of good and evil. 
The knowledge of good and evil means you'll be mixing the two together. So you will do good today, you do bad tomorrow, you do good today, you do bad tomorrow. It brings you a kind of it brings you into a kind of spiritual instability. Today you are doing good, today you are do- tomorrow you are doing bad. Are you there? That burner that is that is caring will suddenly change to a scary brother. It is because such a person is operating with the knowledge of good and evil. So when you see a man that is operating with a corrupt knowledge, you will know. Because such people, they cannot stay long with goodness. They will change into evil. Are you there? So you that's why you see a man that was good formerly now becoming bad. For it will mean that, that the knowledge has been corrupted. So Genesis chapter 3 verse 22. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. Praise the Lord. Immediately he ate of this corrupt tree. Immediately he ate of this corrupt fruit. God said, He has become as one of us to know good and evil. So, because he has become of one of them, then God, God, you know, bring him out of the garden. God have to send him forth from the garden. God have to remove him from the garden. Now, I want you to understand that it was God that was talking here, but God was not referring to himself. When God said he has become as one of us, God is, was not saying he has become like us. He has, God is not saying he has become like me. If the effect of the fruit that they ate was that they became like God, then there would be no need for them to leave the garden. So it will, be, it will mean that that one, if he has become like one of us, that one of us, the person God was referring to was not himself. He was referring to another person who was formerly with them, but has rebelled, now no longer with them. And that person that God was referring to in Genesis chapter 3 verse 22 is Lucifer. So he has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He has become like one of us, having a corrupt knowledge. Are you there? I hope you know that Lucifer was formerly a part of the heaven's cabinet. It was rebellion that casted him down to hell. So, when God said he has become like one of us, he was not referring to himself. He was referring to Lucifer, who was formerly with them, but fell due to rebellion. Fell because he exposed himself to a corrupt knowledge. Now, because they ate the fruit, they no longer look like God, but they now look like the devil. So, God now said he has become like one of us. Knowing good and evil, not like me. If they ate the fruit to become like God, then there's no need to leave the garden. Because for you to live in the garden, you need to be like God. But for you to be disqualified from the garden, you need to look like a strange personality that is different from God. I hope you get it now. So there are two kinds of knowledge, the the pure knowledge and the corrupt knowledge. The corrupt knowledge is the knowledge of good and evil, but the pure knowledge is the knowledge of good only. So I want you to pray. The message is very short, but you need to pray that the Lord will help your knowledge. You may be listening to this audio and you you know that the kind of knowledge you are operating with is a corrupt knowledge. Somebody comes to you, you say good in the presence of the person, and when they leave, you say bad things. It's not your fault. Most of the things we do is not because we are bad. It's just because it is just the, the result of those things that we have exposed ourselves to. It's the result of the Adamic nature. So it's not your fault. The issue you have, the reason you are not stable in kingdom things, in faithfulness, is because you are operating with a corrupt knowledge. So you can be a good brother today and be a bad brother tomorrow. Are you there? Today you may pray and you won't pray tomorrow. You can be a good sister last year and this year you are changing to bad one. It will mean that 
your knowledge has been corrupted. Are you getting what I'm saying? I want you to pray to God and say, Father, help me. I want to live by a pure knowledge. I refuse to be corrupted. Every form of corrupt knowledge operating in me, Father, uproots them. Help me to live with a pure knowledge. In the name of Jesus, God bless you.